We three days away from the fight. Devin Haney has been talking trash on social media. Bill Haney stay talking trash. Ryan Garcia talking trash. But today, Devin Haney posted something very interesting. It is by Ryan Garcia, former Spanish teacher, this girl right here. She posted on IG. I wasn't going to say anything, but I'm probably the only girl that's ever rejected Ryan Garcia and didn't want to have sex with him and I didn't even want to kiss him. I was happy to do the interview and I thought he was cool. But once he got drunk, he was a completely different person. Oh, I'm about to measure my butt and tell you guys how. Oh, you're going to measure my butt? This is the girl that Ryan Garcia hired to teach him Spanish a couple weeks ago. Apparently, Ryan Garcia was trying to please his Mexican fan base. So the man wanted to learn Spanish. So he hired an Instagram model, which I think was a bad idea, to teach the man Spanish. All of a sudden, Ryan Garcia got a fight coming up on Saturday. He's about to get paid. Now we hear this. Oh, I'm about to measure my butt and tell you guys. Then this girl decided to leak some text messages. The girl said, you're not going to try to kiss me again, right? Because honestly, I didn't like that at all. It was uncomfortable. Ryan Garcia said, of course not. I was drunk. She said, okay. Then Ryan said, hey, yo, Jaylene, be real. I'm not a weird dude. But if you was uncomfortable, you should have told me I would have stopped. I thought you liked me. You told me this morning that you like me. I am confused, but I won't do it again. Then the girl said, I told you to stop so many times. I literally was wrestling you and you even dropped me from how much you was forcing me to kiss you. I told you to let things flow, not to force them. Then Ryan Garcia said, I know that, but I generally thought we were playing. But I apologize. Oh, I'm about to measure my butt and tell you guys how. Oh, you're gonna measure my butt? In a tweet that has now been deleted, Ryan Garcia said, And now I'm gonna have to expose her major for trying to frame me like I even came remotely making her feel some type of way. You can't make this shit up. She was feeling me major. She tries her best to seem different from the rest and play hard to get when she isn't. She's a bird brain. Oh, I'm about to measure my butt and tell you guys how. Oh, you're going to measure my butt? I couldn't tell y'all who is lying and who went. I was not there. I really don't know what happened. I am only reporting on what Devin Haney posted. But in my personal opinion, if I was Ryan Garcia, I would have hired an old ass lady to teach me Spanish. I would not be hiring some type of IG model. Oh, I'm about to measure my butt and tell you guys how. Oh, you're going to measure my butt? Switching topics, I told y'all a hundred million times. Boxers ain't gangsters and gangsters don't box. Shakur Stevenson is the prime example of that. One thing Shakur is not is a gangster. Shakur Stevenson is soft as hell. Probably the softest boxer in boxing today. Softer than Devin Haney if you ask me. Today on Twitter, Javante Davis tweeted out. Bro, I never once in my life let none of them touch me. I was the one running around doing them kids bad in the amateurs. And the little chump said that he was under my wing. Look it up. <laughs> I like a mood. Javante Davis is talking about Shakur Stevenson, as we all know by this picture right here. Shakur Stevenson actually looked up to Javante Davis in the amateurs. Oh. <laughs> then Shakur Stevenson jumped out his damn body and responded back with, We can shoot the fade whenever you ready, gangster. I've been dying for the opportunity. Like I said, why does Shakur Stevenson use terms like gangster when he tweeted out? Shakur Stevenson wouldn't know the first thing about being a gangster. Shakur Stevenson doesn't know any gangsters. Nothing about Shakur Stevenson or anybody on his team is gangster at all whatsoever. I know South Park TV. Javante Davis responded back with, Who have you fought? Shakur Stevenson said, I'm a three division champ. Unified at 130. Held the ring magazine belt. You had one belt your whole career and you pushing 30. You not fooling nobody. I'm going to boom the board camera. Javante Davis then said you're going to get hit with a hook and run the whole fight like you did with Buddy. He talking about Evan De Los Santos. The same hook I caught you with in sparring. That fake shit don't work with me. Give a fuck who you with, you a bitch. <laughs> I don't like to lose. <laughs> Then Javante Davis said he's not going to tell y'all that he sparred every single champion that he fought. 
he knew they was easy work, he a cold bitch. Javante Davis is right. Every single one of Shakur Stevenson's championship fights, he knew exactly who he was fighting. Shakur Stevenson actually sparred Mr. Constant Sao or whatever his name is. I heard he sparred with Evan De Los Santos back in the day too. Shakur Stevenson would never, and I do repeat, never accept a challenge like Javante Tank Davis. I think it's the biggest fight at 135. I think that Javante Tank Davis knocked Shakur Stevenson clean out. Shakur is soft as hell. I will embarrass you, little nigga. Then Shakur Stevenson said, you say everything but let's fight. He stole that from Devin Haney. Javante Davis said, I got a 6-7 fight deal. You are in there, little bro. Who made the most money? How do y'all think this fight goes? It is one thing to go back and forth on Twitter, and it is another thing to step into that ring with Javante Tank Davis. In my personal opinion, I think that Shakur Stevenson fears power punching southpaws the same way he feared Edwin De Los Santos, a power punching southpaw. I think this is a mismatch. I do think that it's the biggest fight at 135, but at the same time, it is a mismatch. Shakur Stevenson does not deserve to be in that ring with Javante Tank Davis the same way Devin Haney does not deserve to be in that ring with Javante Tank Davis. It'll be easy work for Tank Davis. And everybody take a look at this picture right here again. Shakur looking like a whole goof troop. Happy to be next to the face of boxing. I know Southpaw TV. The same way Devin Haney was happy to take a picture with the face of boxing. Like I said before. Javante Davis is the face of boxing and Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney are peasants in the sport of boxing. Hey, B Diddy, hey, B Diddy, hey, B Diddy, hey, B Diddy.